Hello and welcome to this video by Get to Know Science. This video is about photosynthesis and how glucose is used in plants. So like all living things, plants need food and food gives them the energy for growth, reproduction, respiration and other things. Um, but plants don't have mouths to eat with, but what they do have is a way to make their own food and it's called photosynthesis. So plant cells have chloroplasts, which contain a pigment called chlorophyll. So this would be, that's a chloroplast, and it contains the pigment chlorophyll. It's inside the chloroplasts that the plants make their food by photosynthesis. And the raw ingredients that plants use are carbon dioxide and water. So they get carbon dioxide from the air, uh, they absorb it through their leaves, and they get the water from the ground through their roots. During photosynthesis, the plant uses light energy. The light energy is absorbed by the chlorophyll, and this energy is used to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen. Glucose is a simple sugar and is very useful to the plant and we'll talk about that later in the video. The oxygen here is released into the air via the leaves. So we've got carbon dioxide coming in via the leaves and oxygen leaving the plant via the leaves and then we have water coming in through the roots from the ground from the soil now what's important to understand is that plants are not using light for food they don't make the light into food the light only provides energy so the light only provides energy for the reaction to take place and the plant will convert the carbon dioxide and the water into food which is the glucose so the full equation is this carbon dioxide plus water will give you glucose and oxygen using light energy and this is the symbol equation down here the symbol equation isn't balanced but i can quickly balance it for us and you need to be able to do this yourself you know you need to be able to balance equations yourself i've got a video on balancing equations so you can go and check that one out but i've just balanced it for us here now also importantly this equation shows an endothermic reaction because it's taking in energy from the environment so in order for this reaction to take place it needs to take in light energy from the environment and therefore that makes it an endothermic reaction so what do plants use the glucose for well some of it is used immediately by the cells for vital cell functions for example glucose can be used for carrying out respiration which provides energy for doing other things like growth they can use that energy as well to build glucose into more complex carbohydrates like cellulose and cellulose is used to strengthen cell walls they can also combine glucose with nitrate ions and other mineral ions that they get from the soil and they can use those to produce amino acids which make up proteins Plants also use glucose to make oils and fats and they use them as a long-term energy store. So they store those often in, in nuts and seeds as a long-term energy store. Some glucose is converted to starch for storage. Starch provides the plant with energy when it's dark, for example at night, and it can also be used as a long-term store of energy uh, for example in potatoes so starch here is another energy store 
it uses the starch for energy when it's dark outside, when there's no light and it's not able to do photosynthesis. That's when it uses starch. And we can actually do a test for starch to check if a leaf has been carrying out photosynthesis or not. So you can take a leaf and you can cover part of the leaf so that no light gets to it. And then you can test it to see which parts of the leaf have been doing photosynthesis and which parts have not. So first, before you actually test the leaf with iodine, what you have to do is strip the leaves of their waxy cuticle, which is the outer waxy waterproof layer on the leaf. And to do that, you have to boil it in ethanol. And then what you do is you rinse it in hot water to soften the leaf. And then you can drop some iodine solution onto the leaf and check for a color change. If it turns black or dark blue, that means starch is present. So looking at this leaf here in this picture, you can tell here which part was covered and which part had access to light. So this part here, the dark bit, contains starch. And the light bit was in the dark. And it doesn't contain starch because there was no reaction and there was no color change. Okay, so that was just a quick video on photosynthesis and the uses of glucose in the plant. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you've got any suggestions, comment below. Okay, and I'll see you in our next video.